Hi there aspiring engineers, this is the third out of 16 videos where we begin with the simplest shapes and we work up to something, well, at least a little bit more complex. And so a beginner can learn something here and we just started with Fusion 360. Are you ready for number three? So we, here we are in Fusion 360. Let's click on the, uh, the little button up there which is create a sketch. And uh, you can see the three planes in space. Let's click on the, uh, the plane which has got the green and the red axis. And it turns to face here. Now click on the line tool next to the uh, begin sketch button. And let's just uh, start somewhere down here to the right of the point of origin and uh, you might have got the idea that it doesn't matter too much where you begin and in fact I'm drawing this to no particular size as long as I've got those lines snapping to horizontal and vertical notice that it does snap to, uh, to vertical now here's a new trick before we click here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mouse, mouse around until I get that vertical line then I'm going to hold down that left mouse button and drag and you see that we get that nice curvy line uh, just mouse over here somewhere and you know uh, there's all sorts of things interesting things happening here and you'll get familiar with this given time but let's make it so that we obviously make a mistake and I'm going to stop that I'm going to let go of the middle mouse button up there and then I'm just going to make another vertical line and I'm going to come down until I get a, a tracking line coming from this corner and uh, I'm going to move the mouse until I've got both the vertical snapping and that tracking line then I'm going to click again to place that next point and I'll mouse over here and then I'm just going to activate this uh, this vertex down here by mousing over it and you notice I can pick up a tracking line and then there's the horizontal tracking line as well so I'm clicking there and click one more time to close that profile so this looks at least something like our drawing and by the way I'm not going to make you download this every single time. What I'm going to do is put this all together, 16 drawings in a bunch in a PDF. Click in the link down below and uh, sign up for my newsletter and uh, get those drawings so that you can print them off and have them here ready for you. If you don't like to stay on my list, then just go ahead and unsubscribe straight away afterwards, but at least you'll get the download, the free download. Now let's uh, continue with our sketch here. Notice that this sketch is getting a little more complex from those first two that we did. I think you're starting to learn a few things, but uh, ask me a few questions if you need to about where you're going wrong if you're having problems. I might even do a troubleshooting video after this one. So now what I'm going to do is click on the Select tool above. Then I'm going to select the curve at the top there. Watch what happens when I click the straight line next to it it deselects the curve. So to stop that happening, hold down the shift key and select the second one and we've got two entities selected. In the sketch palette down the side on the right here we've got uh, constraints down below and at the bottom of that menu we've got tangent. There's a little button there. Click on that and you see what happens to our uh, line and curve. This one, this line has become a tangent to that one. It's also vertical. So, we're getting closer to our shape, we've given it some geometric constraints, now it's time to put a few dimensional constraints on there. So, on the sketch menu up above there, we've got the sketch dimension down below. Click on that, and we're going to start paying attention to those keyboard shortcuts pretty soon, but uh, we're just looking for everything in this menu bar above for now. We've got the dimension tool active now, just click once on the bottom of the part, move the mouse and place it down below and this should be 120 press enter and it changes now let's do another another dimensional constraint I'm going to click on the select button above so now that the cursor has returned to the select cursor I'm going to select the center point of the arc which turns it blue hold down the shift key and mouse over that point of origin and those two points now that are blue and selected now I want to move uh, over here to where the constraints are in the right hand panel notice that there's a con coincident constraint under the constraints heading there click on that button 
and you notice that the two points are now coincident. One jumped onto the point of origin there. Let's continue with some dimensions. So uh, on the uh, sketch menu there we've got the sketch dimension tool. I'm going to make the uh, curve a particular radius and that should be 30. I'm going to make a I'm going to click once on the point of origin, once on one of the sides, put that above here, and that should be half of the total width, which is 60. And then we're going to click again on the point of origin, then on the base of the part, put that dimension out to the side, and we'll change that to 30. And now we need one here, which is just simply the, uh, the height of the part or that feature on the part which is 10 and now it's always good to have more geometric constraints than dimensional constraints we'll talk more about these two different kinds of constraints pretty soon but what I'm going to do is choose the select tool select one hold down the shift key and select the other horizontal line next to that other feature then I'm going to look for the collinear constraint, press that button and those two, uh, two lines are now collinear. We've got one dimensional constraint which is 10 millimeters and both of those little lines there are now lined up beautifully. Collinear they call it. So uh, that's enough for now. You notice that there's a hole in here. We could put that in at this stage but I want you to keep your sketches as simple as possible. Uh, don't put those fillets in just yet. You can do it in the sketch but get confident first, get practiced, and then start making your sketches a little more complex. This is the key to saving yourself a great deal of angst. Now there's a button on the toolbar called Create, that's where we're going next, but first we have to stop the sketch, which was this button here, and notice we have now an isometric view, it's turned a little bit to the side. Let's click on the Create icon, click on our profile, Grab the uh, arrow if you like and move that around, but we're going to type in a distance which is, in this case, 60. Oh, look at that. Alright, there we have it. Now, we've got a couple of uh, fillets to put on here plus a hole through the middle. Here's how we'll do it. We're going to start a new sketch, so we use the Create Sketch button. Click on the front of the part there, it'll turn to face us. We're going to look for a circle. And let's do the center diameter, center diameter circle. And uh, let's make it so that it's obviously the wrong size. Then I'm going to go and look for the sketch dimension tool. Put a diameter on that, uh, di uh, put diameter on this one, which is 30. And uh, pay attention to the difference between a radius and a diameter. And you'll see that there's symbols on our drawing here. This is one thing that you can also pick up in our drawings. You've got the radius symbol and we've got the diameter symbol. Of course, a radius is half a diameter for those that didn't know. So we've got our sketch completed. We'll click on the stop sketch. We've got the isometric view automatically again. Now, let's do the uh, extrude command again. This time, I'm going to select the profile of the circle that we just created. Grab that uh, arrow and get it going in the right direction. Uh, the extents shall be all. And make sure that we've got the operation selected as cut. Then select OK. And have a look in there. It's a hole right through now. We needed to have a, one more feature here. And so let's go on the create menu and look for the... It's not the create, it's actually under modify, which is the fillet command. and. Uh, we can see that one that needs a fillet and there's another one there which we can't see but we can still select it. Don't have to hold down the shift key to get that one as well and uh, we just need to give the radius of the fillet which is 4, press enter and uh, now our part is complete. So if you like this series of videos go ahead and subscribe and also click like if you will and uh, see you next time.